Hi viewers, welcome to our final section of this course that deals with debugging, logging, and error handling. It is not possible to create a bug-free application if it is relatively complex, so developers have to detect errors and deal with them as fast as possible. Yi has a good set of utility features to handle logging and handling errors. Moreover, in the debug mode, Yi gives you a stack, trace if there is an error. Using it, you can fix errors faster. In this section, we will review logging, analyzing the exception, stack trace, and implementing our own error handler. Now we will move on to the first video of this last section, using different log routes. Logging is the key to understanding what your application actually does when you have no chance to debug it. Believe it or not, even if you are 100% sure that the application will behave as expected in production, it can do many things that you are not aware of. This is okay, as no one can be aware of everything. Therefore, if you're expecting unusual behavior, we need to know about it as soon as possible and have enough details to reproduce it. This is where logging comes in handy. Yi allows a developer not only to log messages, but also to handle them differently depending on the message level and category. You can, for example, write a message to a database, send an email, or just show it in the browser. In this video, we will handle log messages in a wise manner. The most important message will be sent through an email. Less important messages will be saved in files A and B, and the profiling will be routed to Firebug. Additionally, in the development mode, all messages and profiling information will be displayed on the screen. Create a new Yi2 app basic application by using the Composer Package Manager, as described in the official guide at this link. Configure logging using config web.php by adding these lines of code in it. Now we will produce a few log messages in protected controllers, logcontroller.php, using these lines of code, and create a view under views log index.php file with these lines of code. Now run the preceding action multiple times. On the screen you should see the log heading and a debug panel with the log messages number. If you click on 16 you will see a web log similar to the one shown in the screen. A log contains all the messages we have logged along with the stack traces, timestamps, levels and categories. Now open the profiling page. You should see profiling messages. As we can see here, profiling info displays the total executing duration of own code block. As we just change the log file names and not the paths, you should look in runtime. Logs to find log files named error.log warning.log and info.log. Inside each files, you will find these messages in it. When one logs a message using ye double colon error, ye double colon warning, ye double colon info, or ye double colon trace, ye passes it to the log router. Depending on how it is configured, it passes messages to one or many targets. For example, emailing errors, writing debug information in file A, and writing warning information in file B. The object of ye log dispatcher class is typically attached to an application component named log. Therefore, in order to configure it, we should set its properties in the configuration file components section. The only configurable property is targets that contains an array of log routes and their configurations. We have defined four log routes. Let's review them here. Email target sends log messages through an email via the ye double colon app mailer. Component by default. We limit category to example and level error. An email will be sent from log at example.com to two developers and the subject will be log error. File target appends error messages to a specified file. We limit the message level to warning and use a file name warning.log. We do the same for info dash level messages by using a file named info.log. Also, we can use e log sys log target to write messages into the unix var log sys log system file and e log db target to write logs into the database. For the second one, you must apply their migrations using this command in the terminal.
there are more interesting things about YI logging, which are covered in the following subsections. First, let us look at YI double colon trace versus YI double colon get logger log. YI double colon trace is a simple wrapper around YI double colon log. Therefore, YI double colon trace logs a message with a trace level if YI is in the debug mode. YI double colon begin profile and YI double colon end profile. These methods are used to measure the execution time of some part of the application's code. In our log controller, we measured 10,000 executions of prereq underscore replace as follows. Yi double colon begin profile marks the beginning of a code block for profile. We must set a unique token for every code block and optionally specify a category. Yi double colon end profile has to be matched with a previous call to begin profile with the same category name like this. The begin and end calls must also be properly nested. Next we move on to logging messages immediately. By default, Yi keeps all log messages in memory until the application is terminated. That's done for performance reasons and generally works fine. However, if there is a console application with long running duration, log messages will not be written immediately. To make sure your messages will be logged at any moment, you can flush them explicitly using yi double colon app get logger flush true or change flush interval and export interval for your console application configuration. In order to learn more about logging, refer to this link. In this video, we handled log messages and displayed all messages and profiling information on the screen.